What's up, Eagles fans, and welcome back to the Film Room presented by Chickies and Pete's. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to continue our look at the 2020 Eagles draft class. And today we're going to focus in on fourth-round pick Kayvon Wallace out of Clemson. Now, Kayvon Wallace, one of my personal favorites on the third day of the draft, not just by the Eagles, but by any team in the NFL, and a couple of reasons why. I loved his versatility. I loved his toughness. I loved his instincts. He was asked to do a lot in that Brent Venables defensive scheme down there at Clemson. Longtime starter, has done a lot, worn a lot of hats. He plays in the slot. He plays deep, plays downhill. He's a good blitzer, plays special teams. This is a guy who wore a lot of hats, like I said, for that Clemson defense. And so we're just going to sit back. This isn't going to be a highlight tape or anything like that. We're just going to sit back and watch a bunch of plays that I tagged of him as I was studying him throughout the course of the pre-draft process. So we'll look at all, these are all going to be plays from his senior season, just to give you a sense of some of the things that I liked about Kayvon Wallace in no particular order outside of these are the games that I watched first. And we're going to start with a game early on in the college football season, and that was against Texas A&M. And you're going to see right here, here's Kayvon Wallace, and very often he was used as a blitzer. Now, sometimes, again, here you can see here he's lined up kind of in the slot. Sometimes he'll line up back here and be used as a blitzer. He'll line up right here off the edge as a blitzer. He's got the ability to be able to attack our offenses from a variety of angles. And so we're going to see here, again, he's coming off the offense's right side. All I want you to see here is just the ferocity that he plays with. Takes a good angle to the football. That's an easy play. He doesn't have to play through contact or anything like that. But you can just see the play speed and his ability to make the play from the backside. He's going to be coming again from the left side of the screen here. You can kind of see his arm and his leg right on the front end of that shot. He's number 12. Again, just kind of coming across the formation, making a stop. Nothing crazy there with that play, but it kind of shows you what he brings to the table. Now, the very next play that I tag also just kind of shows him playing downhill. We'll just take a look at this from the end zone angle. Here's Kayvon Wallace right down here, again, number 12, and he's going to play deep from the safety spot. And just watch him come downhill. You kind of see his fearless nature as a tackler. He's not the biggest, most powerful guy on contact, but this guy brings it every single play. You're going to see here, he's just going to finish in the hole. You see him wrap up and finish, get the ball carrier to the ground. Love seeing that from Kayvon Wallace. Now, a few plays later, we're going to get to see him in coverage this time. And here is Kayvon Wallace lined up to the top of the screen, all right? So here he is matched up on the number two receiver. And the number two receiver here is gonna just be running a quick little out route towards the sideline. But what I want you to see, the ball's not gonna go that direction. It's actually gonna to go to the number one receiver on the outside. I just want you to see the route recognition and the twitch out of his pedals. He's just gonna click and close. Watch him how quickly, boom. Right there, before the ball's out, you could see Kayvon Wallace has his eyes on the quarterback and he's getting ready to break on this throw. Again, we'll kind of play this slow-mo just so you can see right right there, he's already getting ready to break on this throw. Look at the receiver. He's not quite really into his break yet. You look at the quarterback, the ball is not even being cocked to throw. There's Kayvon Wallace already breaking on this throw. And he's in position to make this stop, make a play on the ball. Again, the ball goes to the outside, but I just like the reaction quickness there from Kayvon Wallace in coverage. Now, a couple of plays later, we're going to see one of the things that I really love about Kayvon. And, you know, really, if you look back to strong safeties right in the NFL, most people will call them box players, guys that were almost like an extra linebacker downhill, close to the line of scrimmage. They couldn't really offer too much value in coverage. Well, those players are obviously now dinosaurs. You don't necessarily see those guys too often in the NFL. NFL, but at least playing on an every down basis. What you need your strong safety to do is be able to play in coverage against the tight end, against the back, uh, potentially against the slot receiver. And you want to see guys that were comfortable and tough enough to be able to play close to the line of scrimmage. They don't need to be the biggest guy. They don't need to be 225 pounds. But if they can hold their own and show the toughness and the will, the will to be able to play close, now you've got something where you can play a guy all three downs and feel comfortable with his ability to match up. Here is Kayvon Wallace. Again, number 12 here on the left side of the screen. This is going to be a run over to this side. So Kayvon is going to be asked to take on a block really from that receiver who's on the far left of the screen here. So watch Kayvon. Watch the violence here on contact and then his ability to show up in the hole really is along the sideline here. He does not get blocked. 
See him get off that block quickly, keep his eyes on the backfield, then show up along the sideline. You love to be able to see that from your safety. It's not necessarily a guy that's always going to come downhill and lay a huge hit. You'd like that, but you also want to be able to play through contact, not get blocked, not get scooped out of there to create an alley for the runner. And that's exactly what Kayvon showed on that last play. Again, we're just going to bring that back really quickly so you can see it this time from the sideline angle. Here's Kayvon right here, close to, you know, right on the hash. Just watch him play through contact here and not really get blocked out. He's not going to get cracked out of this. There's the receiver that's getting ready to take him on. Nice job staying square, taking on the block, and making the play. Now, a few plays later, one of the things you're going to see from Kayvon Wallace is just his relentless playing style. This guy is always going 100 miles an hour, going for the football. And this play, early on, first quarter, third series of the game against Texas A&M, a great example. Again, a different spot that we're seeing Kayvon here. This time he's lined up off the edge as he's going to be a blitzer. I believe right here he's manned up on the running back one-on-one -on -one in coverage. So you're going to see him kind of come off the ball, and you see him kind of take the peek at the back. They're trying to play that little cat and mouse game right now. Is, is the running back going to release? Do I have to run out with him? If he's going to stay in to protect, should I blitz? But the ball's going to come out relatively quickly here. Quarterback's going to drop back, and immediately he's going to release this ball on a quick slant route. Again, Here's Kayvon Wallace right here. I want you to watch Kayvon. I'm going to play this full speed. Look at the play speed here and look at the competitive toughness to be able to chase this play down along the sideline, 15 yards downfield, and make the stop. If he does not do that, okay, check this receiver out. This receiver might be able to make this man miss and stay up. And even if he doesn't, just the fact that Kayvon shows that motor to be able to come back and make this play. Again, I'll just stay with him here for this one. You just love being able to see that kind of relentless play style. Here he is in pursuit, making the play along the sideline. And you see plays like that show up with Kayvon Wallace almost every single game, where even if he doesn't make the play like he did on that one, he's always chasing the action. He's always going for the football. Love seeing that. And that relentless style shows up with him as a blitzer as well. We talked with uh, some members of that Clemson coaching staff earlier this offseason on PhiladelphiaEagles.com, and they talked about you know his willingness to always want to be a part of everything that they did from a pressure standpoint. He loved blitzing. He loved being used to get after the quarterback. And you're going to see here, he's actually going to be sent from depth. This is, I'm sorry for the, the dark screen here, but you can just see that he's going to come from depth to chase after the Texas A&M quarterback, Kellen Mond. And I just want you to see his ability to close and finish as a blitzer. There he comes off the edge. He's able to get home. Nice coverage, obviously, on the back end. But you just get a sense of how he's used in that defensive scheme. Kayvon Wallace is a guy who wore a lot of hats for that Clemson defense. He was asked to do a lot of different things, and he embraced every single role he was asked to do. Even as a third or fourth year starter, as a senior, wanted to be a big part of special teams. You love that mindset for a guy going into his rookie year in the NFL. All right, so last play from this Texas A&M game that I wanted to be able to show you guys. This is a play where you really get a sense of his route awareness and zone coverage. Because obviously, look, you have man-to-man, -man, you've got zone, a little bit of a different skill set in terms of how you're going to be able to defend these receivers in space. In man, you're worried about, obviously, the man across from you. You're worried about the receiver that you were accounting for. In zone, you have to be able to react to route concepts. You have to be able to understand how defenses or how offenses are going to try and attack the coverage you're playing. Because chances are the offense has an understanding of what coverage you're very likely to play in any given scenario so as a defense you then have to understand hey if we're going to be in cover three on every third down or on every first down here are the pass concepts that are in their playbook that they're going to try and use against us it's a cat and mouse game on both sides that's coaching at every single level of football so here is Kayvon Wallace, once again in the slot. And he's going to be an outside underneath defender. So uh, he's going to be responsible really for this side of the field underneath. They're going to have a four deep coverage where basically all of these guys here, one, two, three, four, are going to be responsible for four parts of the field. You've got a man coverage corner uh, at the top of the screen. It's a little bit of a different kind of coverage concept, but Here's Kayvon. He's going to be responsible for that, you know, curl flat area of the defense. And so, again, understanding that he's got three receivers to his side, I want you to watch Kayvon's eyes at the snap of the ball. Watch Kayvon Wallace. As soon as the ball is snapped, he gets his eyes a little bit of a peek right there, and he's now looking. All right, what are the route concepts here? What exactly are they going to try and throw at us? And as soon as number two clears him, he has an idea. You know what? This receiver is going to be sending an in-breaking route. And how do we know that that's what he's seeing? Well, 
Watch Kayvon Wallace here. Again, as soon as that number two receiver clears, he gets his eyes there and immediately gets his eyes back to the quarterback and watch his body. He's matching that route. He understands exactly what the offense is trying to do. Watch him again in lockstep with that outside receiver. Eyes on the receiver. Now he puts his foot in the ground and comes back inside, and he's shadowing that route. It looks like it's playing man-to-man -man coverage. The quarterback's out of the pocket now, so he's able to plaster. It's a scramble situation. Just a great heads-up play on first down. Texas A&M ends up checking it down, and they get a first down anyway, but great coverage there from Kayvon Wallace. And again, that was zone coverage. Here, we're going to see him playing the ball downfield in man-to-man -man coverage, and I love seeing this because with safeties, ball skills can be a little bit up and down. You know, usually you've got the ball in front of you the whole way so you're able to see it you know from from throw to catch point right you're playing the deep part of the field you're not really taking your eyes off the football all that often but when you're playing the cornerback spot you're going to get your back turned to the quarterback you've got to be able to turn find the ball late that's why ball skills can be so important at the corner spot because some guys you know don't really have that ability to be able to find it late here with Kayvon Wallace you're going to see some of that cornerback skill with him again he's playing this time in the deep middle of the field. It looks like it's kind of, kind of a too high look before the snap. Now, I don't know if they're misaligned or if they're trying to disguise here, but obviously, you know, if you're just kind of going uh, simple math here, you've got two receivers on one side, only one Clemson defender. South Carolina's gonna snap this football and try and see if they can catch them. You're gonna get a vertical route from this slot receiver and Kayvon Wallace is going to have to try and get out here, get on his horse, and try and defend that vertical route. And I want you to see, number one, the ability to be able to get out there and make this, but then also, no panic, right? Because you see a lot of guys in that situation, they might try and turn, might hold the receiver, might draw a flag. I want you to watch Kayvon. First of all, this is a cornerback trait right here where he's going to have his eyes on the football right here. You see him looking back to see the throw. So there's Kayvon. Here's his receiver, that number two receiver. He's now going to get his eyes back on the receiver, make sure that he can build that, get in phase with his man, right? What does in phase mean? He wants to be able to get hip to hip with his back to the sideline so he can pin him to the sideline and then also get his eyes back to play this football. That's a cornerback trait. And now he's able to contest it and it's a pass breakup. That is a big time play from a safety. Again, being able to now say, I'm going to get on my horse, get out here, not draw a flag, get my eyes back to the football, reestablish that relationship with the receiver, and now find the ball late, climb the ladder, get the ball on the ground. Big time play from Kayvon Wiles. Now, let's fast forward a little bit to a little bit later in the game against South Carolina, and you get, again, a sense of his discipline in coverage, of his football awareness, his football intelligence. Here, it's third and a mile. South Carolina's got the ball. They're backed up inside their own 20-yard line. What are you going to do? It's third and 18. You're going to throw a little bit of a screen. All right, so South Carolina, they're going to leak two offensive linemen out. And they're going to try and hit this back over to the right side. Here's Kayvon Wallace. He's going to show really good discipline here on this play. Again, third and long, second quarter. Because what you're going to see here is they do a nice job of actually setting this up. South Carolina has two versus two. The defender in front of Kayvon Wallace does a pretty nice job where he's going to actually cut off those two defenders. So watch it. We're going to fast forward here just a second. So by cutting off those two blockers... He now allows for a one-on-one -on -one matchup. One-on-one, -on -one, you've got Kayvon Wallace against the back. If Kayvon wanted to, he could put his foot in the ground and go and try and make this play on his own. But he understands, look, it's third and 18. I don't need to take that risk. I can be smart here. So all he's doing is just corralling the back. He doesn't need to make the tackle. All he has to do is just kind of distract that back long enough, keep him bottled up long enough for some more of those white jerseys, for the cavalry to get there. And watch, he does a nice job of just staying square, making sure that the back doesn't get to the sideline, and now you see the influx of the white jerseys. Four, five, six guys show up. That play is made by Kayvon Wallace, and it just shows you the football intelligence, the FBI that this kid has. And when you have that versatility, you can't, you can't be a dummy out there. You've got to have an understanding of how the entire defense works if you're going to do all those different kinds of things. I've said that about a long time about Kayvon Wallace. This is a really smart, instinctive, tough, physical football player. Now, we're going to see here a little bit later. It's third quarter. It's third down once again, third and seven. There's Kayvon Wallace. Here's the tight end from South Carolina. The tight end, all he's going to do is just run a little bit of a hitch route. And Kayvon's just going to play through the man, not draw a flag, 
and get the ball on the ground. He does a nice job here of doing just enough to not draw a flag and get the ball on the ground and force a punt for South Carolina. Again, there's Kayvon on the left side of the screen. I'll fast forward a little bit here. Just his ability to play through that play or play through that tight end, play through the man. Here he is on the left side, matchup on number 84. No penalty, gets the ball on the ground. Nice physical finish. Love that from Kayvon Wallace. Now, let's go ahead to the next game. This is the ACC title game, Clemson against Virginia. And again, you're going to get a sense of Kayvon Wallace's ball skills on this play. Here, he is matched up deep part of the field, and he's man-to-man, -man, actually, with this guy in the backfield. It looks like it's a, a tight end or an H-back. And what's going to happen before the snap, Virginia's going to motion this guy outside the numbers, and Kayvon's going to match him. All right, so we're just going to play that forward a little bit. And again, he has to have an understanding. What is the offense trying to do? How are they trying to attack us? They have an idea of what coverage we're going to play. What, are, what am I going to do to make sure that we don't get beat? Virginia here is going to run three verticals to the one side of the field. So they're flooding the field right here, the wide side of the field with three vertical routes. Again, here is Kayvon Wallace. He's matched up on this receiver, now the number one receiver on the outside. So let's watch him through this play. I'll, I'll go slow motion. He's got his eyes on his man, gets his eyes back to the quarterback. He sees that the ball is thrown, turns, and now look immediately trying to find the football. He's able to track it, climb the ladder, get the ball on the ground against the number two receiver. Again, so he's matched up on this guy in the backfield who's going to flare out, but he actually makes the play. The ball is being targeted to the number two receiver, and he's being thrown vertically. He's able to make this play against the guy who's not even his man in coverage, but he was able to find this ball late, show the ability to track it, climb the ladder, and again, get the pass break up. Really smart play from Kayvon Wallace. So, and one of the things, again, that we've seen a couple of times already, right, is that he's got the ability to read his man. He's got a really good route awareness in that aspect and play in, in terms of zone coverage. He's got the ability to read the quarterback's eyes as well and understand where he's trying to go with the football before he cocks his arm back to get rid of it. And that's exactly what we're gonna see here a little bit later in the ACC title game. Here's Kayvon Wallace. Here's the quarterback, obviously. What we're going to see here is Kayvon reading the quarterback and breaking on the throw before it's thrown. Watch Kayvon. Right, boom. Right there. He's putting his foot in the ground to attack downhill. He's about to break on this throw that the receiver has not started his break yet. The quarterback is just now cocking his arm back to throw. And again, Kayvon Wallace is there to try and break on this, get to the catch point, and make the play. When you talk about 40 yard dash times and the difference between time speed and play speed, this is what we're talking about because he's able to get there faster than a guy who runs the same 40 time, right? It doesn't matter what he runs in shorts because his eyes get him to the ball faster than a guy with lesser instincts. And that's what you really want to see from really everybody on defense, but especially in the defensive secondary. Now, again, we've seen Kayvon Wallace line up all over the formation, right? All over the field. He's, we've seen him up on the line of scrimmage. We've seen him in the slot. We've seen him play deep. And there are a lot of things when you're watching safeties, a lot of evaluators will say that safety is one of the toughest positions to, to be able to scout because you've got to watch a lot of games to be able to see projectable NFL plays because just in terms of the way the game is played in college, it can be a little bit of tough to be able to find plays of guys playing man-to-man -man against the slot, man-to-man -man against the tight end, making a play on the ball in the air, running the alley, being, being used as a blitzer, defeating blocks close to the line of scrimmage. It's tough to be able to stack all those plays time and time and time again. That's why we've already gone through four or five games here uh, in terms of what we saw just last season from Kayvon Wallace. But one thing I haven't shown you yet is his ability to run the alley. And what is the alley? The alley is this area really basically from the numbers to the middle of the field. And you want to be able to see a safety who is lined up deep, run this alley outside of the run fit, and be able to fill in any perimeter run, make a stop one-on-one -on -one in the hole. All right, so again, here's Kayvon Wallace. Now, this isn't going to be a run. This is going to be a little bit of a play action pass. They're going to show us if it's going to be run, and the quarterback is ultimately just going to dump it off to this tight end in the flat. You've got a hat on a hat here on the outside. So ultimately, this comes down to Kayvon Wallace to be able to run outside here and make this play one-on-one -on -one in the flat. You need your safety to find a way in the alley to get him down, and that's exactly what Kayvon Wallace does here. This is an athletic play. 
It's a will. You need to show the, the ability to, to finish as a tackler. All right. So there's a lot of things at stake here. You want to see the the play recognition early, right? So understand. Hey, this the, the ball's going to the flat. I've got a trigger. I've got to get downhill. The athleticism to be able to break down because it's tough when you are on an island like that one on one. There's a lot of green grass out there. So if you're being matched up here, it's against a tight end. But if you're against an electric back in the backfield who's got a two way go on you. That's a little bit of a tough ask for safety. Do you have that ability to break down, chatter your feet, and then finish one-on-one? -on -one? He does that here, gets his man to the ground, and again, it's all about the tackle as well. So a lot of safeties are going to be a little bit different with how they do it. Ultimately, it's all about getting that guy to the ground, and that's what we see from Kayvon Wallace here. Again, one last look at the finish always saw that from Kayvon. Now, we're going to go a little bit later in the game, and one of the things about Clemson's defense under Brent Venables, the defensive coordinator there, very multiple, very aggressive. They love being able to send the pressure against opposing quarterbacks, and they're very multiple on the back end with all their different coverage looks. A lot of that had to do with the versatility of their safeties, Kayvon Wallace, Tanner Muse, and then a top 10 pick in Isaiah Simmons. So, when you look at that Clemson defense, you're going to see all kinds of different things in coverage. And here, you're going to see them send the house, basically. Basically, you've got six guys that are getting ready to blitz. And usually when you see a six-man pressure, especially in the NFL, you're going to expect that to be what's called cover zero, where it's going to be man-to-man -man coverage, everybody's manned up, no deep safety in the middle of the field. Well, this is a six-man pressure, but they're actually going to play a version of zone coverage behind it. You're going to have basically what's a three-deep coverage, so a version of cover three. All right, so you've got your three deep defenders and then you've got two underneath defenders, and one of those underneath defenders is our guy, Kayvon Wallace. Here he is here. And again, this goes back to understanding when you're in zone coverage, how is the offense trying to attack you in any given scenario? You have to, and that's all from game planning and, re, and watching film, understanding in this situation, what are the route concepts that are at their disposal? How are they going to try and attack us? And you can see pre-snap, Kayvon Wallace sees, hey, not only am I dealing with a three-receiver set, but I've also got two receivers stacked here in the slot. Stacked meaning they're right next to each other, right on top of each other in the slot here. So at the snap of the ball, again, full on pressure. You've got six-man pressure right up the gut. How is the offense going to try to attack us in this one area? The ball likely is going to come out fast. Off that stacked receiver set, again, watch Kayvon Wallace. He's going to have an understanding of what the offense is trying to do, and he doesn't even peek at the receiver here. He feels this, this receiver bending in behind him. Watch him match the route. He's there to make the interception. The, the receiver actually makes a hell of a play to get this ball on the ground and essentially gets a pass breakup against Kayvon. He never looks at the receiver. He feels that route coming as it's happening. This is what I'm talking about in terms of instincts and route awareness and zone coverage. Look at the play here by Kayvon Wiles. Eyes on the quarterback the whole way. Match that in-breaking route and then climb the ladder, make the play. Again, the receiver does a nice job getting the pass breakup. So Kayvon's a little bit mad at himself that he doesn't get the pick. Awesome play by Kayvon Wallace. So we've seen him lined up in the slot a number of different ways. We've seen a lot of off-man coverage. But here we're going to take a look again. This is a little bit later in that Virginia game, the ACC title game. He's lined up here in the slot, press man coverage against the number two receiver. And this is going to be what's called a slot fade. So the receiver is actually going to win with an outside release here. Kayvon misses the jam. But as is the case when you're playing DB, you're going to get beat sometimes. So don't panic. Trust your technique. You look at him, see here, he's able to maintain that relationship, stay hip to hip, get his eyes back to the quarterback. But what I love here is that he does not panic. And, and again, when he feels that he loses that relationship with the receiver, well, here's what I mean here. He's going to try and stay hip to hip. That's what's called being in phase with the receiver. Hip to hip, eyes back to the quarterback, wait for the throw, try and find the ball, right? As soon as he feels that receiver kind of push off or get that late separation, now you can't be looking at the ball. You've got to find your man, your man-to-man -man against the receiver. So he gets his eyes back to the receiver, shoots his hands through the catch point, gets the ball on the ground for a pass breakup. You can see it a little bit better here from the end zone angle. We're not going to see it at the jump, but I want you to be able to watch this late. Kayvon Wallace, again, he gets beat early, gets back in position, gives up a little bit of late separation, late in the down, trust the technique, gets back in position, finds the receiver's hands. Here he is here. Finds the receiver's hands, rakes his hands through the catch point, gets the ball on the ground. 
awesome big time play from Kayvon Wallace. Now, let's go to the next game on Clemson's schedule, Fiesta Bowl, college football semifinal against Ohio State, one of the best games of the year. Hope you guys at home got to watch that game last January or December. It was an awesome, awesome game between two great teams. Now, here is Kayvon Wallace. He's lined up almost as a too high safety pre-snap. And what did I say earlier about Brent Venables in that scheme? Very multiple. They disguise things very well. And to me, a lot of that had to do with the versatility of those safeties and really everybody in that back seven. This looks like it could be a too high look. It looks like it could be man coverage. You've got press coverage all over the place. But this is actually going to be a really well-disguised version of basically cover three. And you see a, a coverages like this from the Eagles at times as well. You're going to get one corner drop out, another corner drop out. Who is going to be in your post? It's actually going to be this linebacker is going to get on his horse and get back here. That means that your two safeties, they're not playing deep. They're actually going to come down and play as middle hook players underneath zone coverage. Here you're going to have another underneath player. Here's another underneath player. So again, you've got one, two, three deep safeties, and then you've got one, two, three four underneath defenders. That is a version of cover three. Really, really wonky version of it, really well disguised, but I love seeing this because now watch Kayvon Wallace. And again, we've seen this a number of times already, but watch him just read the route, read the concept, read the quarterback. Look already, he's triggering. He knows the ball's getting ready to come out. Look at the quarterback. Ball's not cocked out yet. Look at the receiver. The route's not quite all the way through the break yet. He's breaking on this throw steps in front of it and it just hits the ground and comes out of his hands near interception that probably would have gone to the house for a pick six i'll play it full speed so you get a sense of how quickly he sees it triggers and gets downhill almost a huge play early in that game but really really loves that we can see this from the end zone angle you just love the, again the instincts the route awareness we've seen it in man we've seen it in zone time and time again from Kayvon wallace this was a consistent theme with him on film watch him on the right side of the screen jump the throw gets the pass break up and one thing that we hear so often when we talk about defensive backs is guys that know how to play to their help and what does that mean so you know you might be a man coverage corner with a safety in the middle of the field you understand hey i've got the safety here i can play with outside leverage and force the receiver inside to my safety or to my linebacker to my slot corner wherever there's going to be help inside with a corner it might mean hey i'm man to man my only help is the sideline so i'm going to push the receiver out to the sideline understand where your help is with a safety when you're down in the red zone and here's Kayvon wallace here matched up on the number three receiver for ohio state he's going to be running kind of a crossing route here into the end zone Kayvon doesn't have much help where is his best form of help it's the end line all right so he's going to have to understand hey once this receiver crosses the midpoint of the end zone, I can try and undercut this route because I'm not getting beat deep. There's nowhere for him to go back here. So watch him here again. Here's Kayvon Wallace. Here's the receiver. Here's the route going across the field. Watch him just have an understanding of where his help is and where he can undercut this throw. He's able to step in front of it again, get his hands on the ball, get the pass break up. And once again, we're going to see another play here a little bit later in the Fiesta Bowl where this time he's not playing in coverage. He's actually lined up right on the line of scrimmage. And on this play, I'm not sure if he's man-to-man -man against this tight end, but in the run game, he's responsible for this gap between the two tight ends. So when the ball is snapped, just watch the gap that he's going to try and make sure he attacks. He's got to make sure that he's in this gap right here. There's a little bit of a run fake here to the Ohio State running back. So he's got to react, make sure that he gets inside. Once it's decided that this is actually not a run play, this is a pass play, watch him now convert from run defender into pass rusher. And he does a good job of containing Justin Fields, the quarterback for Ohio State. Again, he first plays the run. Once he sees that it's a pass, he's going to get back outside. But instead of immediately triggering downhill to get the quarterback, He's going to play contain. Make sure he keeps Justin Fields in the pocket. So watch him here. He gets outside and wants to make sure, hey, I can't just go downhill. I've got to come at him outside in, right? I've got to make sure I keep him contained in the pocket. Make sure he takes the good angle, is able to get home, and is able to finish. Gets the sack here in the Fiesta Bowl on first down. Big play 
late in that game. Now, we're going to go to the last game of the season, the college football national title, Clemson, LSU, battle of undefeateds, huge, huge game on the college football calendar. And one of the things I feel like I didn't do a great job of tacking quite enough plays was just his ability, his comfort of playing in the box. I loved watching Kayvon Wallace playing close to the line of scrimmage because he was a fearless player down there. He showed a really strong level of comfort playing in traffic, playing through contact, avoiding blocks, getting to the football. And here, for First of all, in this game, he spent a large majority of it matched up on that guy. Number two, Justin Jefferson, obviously a first round pick to the Minnesota Vikings. What you're gonna see here is him play through this block of Justin Jefferson, get over the top and get to the ball carrier for another first round pick in Clyde Edwards Hilaire to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, what you're gonna see here again, him just play through contact. There's Kayvon Wallace matched up on number two, Justin Jefferson. Watch him take on the block, stay square, violently get off, chase the action, get in on the tackle. That was like commonplace for Kayvon Wallace. You saw that almost on every single play or every single game with this kid is that he was always attacking blocks with violence, keeping his eyes on the football, being able to avoid contact whenever possible. Love watching this kid against the run. And our final play, again, I told you he was matched up one-on-one -on -one with Justin Jefferson throughout the game. They both had their share of nice plays in this matchup. This was one that I tagged. It's in the fourth quarter. Here they are one-on-one -on -one at the bottom of the screen. Okay, it's man-to-man -man coverage. Justin Jefferson, one of the better route runners in college football last year in this NFL draft. You see him with the nice release, the stutter release here to win at the top of the route as well. Watch Kayvon match it. Get there and make the stop right at the line of scrimmage. One yard gain, just a competitive battle between these two guys. It was a lot of fun to watch these two go at it on tape. Again, I thought both of them had their share of wins. Kayvon while showing up in the national title game against Justin Jefferson. So what have we seen from Kayvon Wallace? We've seen the versatility, the instincts, the toughness, play the run, play the pass. He can play downhill as a blitzer. Did so many different things for that Clemson defense. Hoping to see a lot of those things for the Philadelphia Eagles defense here this season and beyond. Really, really fun player to watch on tape. Thanks so much for joining me here on the Film Room presented by Chickies and Pete's. I'm down here in my basement continuing my study of these 2020 draft picks by the Eagles. A lot of fun watching you guys. these guys. Make sure you join us next week here on the Film Room presented by Chickies and Pete's.